Back again with another video. Hey everybody, it's Marcos. And today's video, it's gonna be an eyeshadow tutorial video because that's what I promised I was gonna do and I never really got into it. I'm sorry, I know I've been slacking on these, but hey, we're back on it, girl. We're about to get this giggity straight. So I'm gonna make an eyeshadow tutorial about these Maybelline New York uh, Nude Eyes uh, palette. They have two different palettes. This is the palette that has the black and the deeper colors in it. There's one that has the lighter, lighter browns, and this has kind of like a matte and some are like a satin color and very high gloss colors. Um, that's how they look up close. Let me get a backup look so you can really get those effects on it. I'm going to be swatching these colors for you. So let's get right into it. Okay, I know this is not have to do nothing with the tutorial at all. But I feel like I wanted to share it because look at my lip colors. Everybody thinks I'm always wearing some type of lip product on them, which I don't. I just have naturally like colored pinkish, reddish uh, lips. I found this lipstick. It was given to me by uh, one of the co-hosts at the show last weekend and it almost matches my same lip color. Like, look, I'm gonna do half a lip. It's just a little more pinker. It almost looks like I'm wearing like a lip gloss. Do you see how the top almost just like looks the same color? Yeah, I just thought I'd share that because I love how some lipsticks can match your lip color without trying so hard. So what I got here for you, it is the top row of the palette. Um, I did it in an awkward position of my arm. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but the top row, um, it's these colors right there. Um, definitely, do you see the shimmery one? Um, some of these are matte. The top row only has this one color, the second to last color that is matte, and the last color that is matte. Uh, I lied actually. These are mostly all matted except the middle bronzy one and the first one. The second, the third, the fifth, and the sixth are matted. Um, they are more of like a loose pigment type of thing. They are in a compact but I feel like they could be like a loose pigment because they really um, come loose very easily. You don't have to really rub them to come loose like some of those CoverGirl uh, products out there, those eyeshadows that are just like so hard. I'm gonna have to like, like take this off cause like ugh, I just hate lip like products, they just feel so nasty. Okay from the top row that I just showed you, my favorite color actually is the first one which I don't pick up. This is gonna be my new um, highlight for my uh, high, eyebrow highlight um, that I'm gonna be using so if y'all wanna like get up on the gig and have the same highlight color as I, use the nude, uh, the Maybelline nude palette, the darker colors. This is the 50M, 25M, the nude line. This is gonna be from the top row, the first color. It's like a pearlescent white. I love it. So that's my first favorite color from all of this. And I did say earlier that I got this because it had the black. It's hard to find a matte black, and this is actually a matte black. Um, I have other black eyeshadows, but they have glitter into them, and sometimes I just wanna, ow. I just want like a matte dark punch of black. All right, I swatched on my skin the bottom colors of this palette. Uh, these bottom ones right there. Uh, like you see, this one is like a glossy one. This one's matte, glossy, glossy, matte, matte. Uh, this is how they look on your skin. Uh, like I said, you know, these are glossy, that's matte, it has a little bit of a glitter to it, but these are glossy, this one's matte, and that one's matte. Um, they don't, they're not the brightest ones, I, I like this brown, and I like this champagne one that really matches into my skin color right now, because uh, of the lighting, but this one is more like a pinkish, uh, white to it, and that one's just the black. Um, definitely if you would mix these two dark colors together, you would get a really punch of darkness to your eye. This one is just like a, I don't know, like I would say grayish, like platinum. It's almost like a brown. It's like a brownish grayish one, which is not my favorite color. So from all of these, I actually like a lot of these colors. I like this one, the black, the the lighter ones, the goldish one. I like this one and this one's actually one of my favorite ones because it's just like really dark and it's just like a matted brown 
uh, so you can really use this for like an eyebrow filler or stuff like that or to really darken like a smoky eye so I would do like a really smoky eye with neutral colors I've done this before I've talked about neutral eyeshadows many times but I always rebuy different products about nude color eyes I don't know why but to me this looks like the naked the urban decay type of naked palettes they got two different ones and I like this one so let's get into this tutorial all right, I just primed myself with that crayon. I've showed it you guys many times. If you kept up with my videos, you should know by now. So I'm going to be using the gold color, the bronzy one. The one that I said it kind of matched into my skin color a lot. So I'm going to use that all over my eyelid. Um, I'm gonna. This is more going to be like more for a feminine look. Um, for those girls out there, that's what I meant to say, not feminine. Just like for those girls out there or for just like a neutral eye color. But I, I feel like this is not like a drag tutorial if uh, those queens out there watching my videos. Um, so I'm going to just pat this all over my lid. And like just take it all the way up to my crease area, like my natural crease. And I'm just going to be tapping it. I'm going to try to get you guys as close as possible so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tapping at this moment. I don't like doing like a lot of sweeping motions or anything like that. You're just going to drag that product and then you're going to rub it right off. So let's tap it and then when you feel like you have a buildable amount of color out there. So I'm going this like to my crease level like my my lid and then to my crease it's a little bit above my crease um, this color looks very nice I know this lighting is very bright I'm trying to not use it but I, then you can't see anything but do you see that color it's really nice it, it really m matches into my skin color so I'm gonna just apply a little more to it um, let me do my other side real quick so I'm gonna come back with this top color here. I used this one earlier. Now I'm gonna use this one right there to my outer corner and blend it into my crease halfway. If that makes any sense, but you'll you'll get to watch what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna build this product onto my sponge and I'm gonna use it halfway out to my crease. Bring it out halfway everything's halfway, halfway up to my crease, halfway to my lid, and I'm gonna start to brush it into the crease halfway and I was just start just now just blending it into my eye um, I'm doing the sweeping motions instead of patting motions and I'm just gonna keep redoing that line halfway I don't want it to go past halfway because it's gonna start looking a little bit shoppy like my eyeshadow is not blended that's what I'm trying to say when it looks choppy uh, you want to make sure this is blended all the way something like that you still have it's all about blending and making sure it looks smooth like it's just one whole color that faded out to like a different did you see how I like kept doing that little like top crease because I want to keep that as bold as possible and don't worry about it because you're gonna come back here with a deeper color so you're just really trying to blend these two colors in together so this is kind of what you should have looking so far, just like a blended goldish color into this brown, bronzy brown type of color. I used both uh, satin glossy eyeshadows that did not stick with matte. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply a matte brown to actually make everything deeper and um, darker. I'm going to be using from the bottom row, it's going to be the second color here or you could be using this one which are both matte but this one is just more of a brown natural color this one has like a more of a grayish undertone so let's get that into it I'm gonna use the tip of my sponge and I'm gonna use this like it's almost like I'm using eyeliner I'm gonna use it right on the edge of my eyelashes and bring it like into my eyelashes and I'm gonna try to bring it out um, I like my eyeshadow very pointed if um, there's people that you can do it like a moth shape more of a rounded type of thing but I like mine pointed so I'm gonna grab this right on the edge and brush it out like that till where I want it to it to me and then I'm gonna bring it just like slightly over just like that that's all I need to do and then you need to start blending. Don't add any more product, no nothing. Just start blending this like seven shape 
L shape, C shape, whatever you're going for. I usually do a seven shape because I like like it to be pointed. If you like it to be rounded, do more like a C shape uh, to it. So yes, girl, just keep on blending. And I did went ahead and add a little more because I felt like I needed more of a deeper color down here. So it's just about eyeballing it and seeing what you like. Um, you can add more color. So just add slowly instead of grabbing straight up the black and going ahead and do it. Because if you do that, it's hard to get a darker color to be lightened than to darken up a color. Yes, doll. So basically what I've done is just darken up that edge and I'm going to come back with a black. So I know I told you guys I was going to come back with a black and show you, but I'm just going to tell you guys or y'all gals out there, everybody that's watching this video, that you can leave your eyeshadow to this. Now that it has been uh, dried into my eye, you can actually tell that that's a goldish color. Um, at first, it just looks sparkly. Um, definitely, you can just leave it like this. To me, this is like, if you're trying to go for the day look, this is already too much, you know. I would go with just straight up the matte color instead of the shimmery colors. But if you're going for the night look and you're trying to look fierce and fishy as fuck, you better darken up these edges a little more because out in the club, it's too dark. This just is going to look like plain Jane, like normal makeup. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to come back and make this even darker, even deeper with some black. I'm going to be using the bottom row uh, black. Um, I don't know if I can, if I should use this one there. Uh, like I said, it was like a grayish type of color, but I'm going to come back with the black and just straight up deepen up these edges and make it much punchier. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you guys how you can lighten your eye. Like if you think this is not enough um, light towards your eye because they say the eyes are the soul of the face. So I'm going to use my highlight color, which is this one. And I'm going to do this with my hand because it, you, you can just get your pointer finger and really just grab that color and do it right on your tear duct. And you can lighten it, and if you can, like, just, like, push it, like, up towards that goldish color, that would be perfect. Um, just keep on building as light as you want it. I, I say go really light because it's going to really pop your eye, and it's going to make your whole eyeshadow look. So look at the difference from this eye to that eye, and definitely your eyeshadow is popping a lot more. Your eye looks brighter. You look awake. Everything is popping out even better. So I'm going to grab it even more further up here. Kind of like try to push it like halfway into my gold color. Um, but I'm not going to try to take it all the way through. So I'm going to do that with my other eye and I'm going to do the black on this side so I can show you what the difference looks between the eyes if you would not put the black and if you would put the black, okay? Okay, so I'm back. I'm done doing the black. Basically, I repeated that saving. The seven shape, uh, the same seven shape, I just grabbed the black down here and I'm going to close my eyes so you can see what I did. Basically you do this like inverted seven shape down here then you push it up here and then you just blend that into that bottom part um, like if it's like eyeliner type of thing. So that's the shape that you're going for basically but when you open your eye you can't see the effect of what you're doing but when you blink it like if you're gonna if you're gonna wear this type of fucking eyeshadow, you better do some eyeliner over this. So just saying, um, to me this compared to this, it, there's a difference. There's definitely a difference with the highlight and with the punch of black. It definitely turned just this into like a major eye. Like you're definitely gonna look like you're an expert eye user if you darken up everything you add more contrast and if you add a highlight to your eyeshadow because to this right now it's just Two colors blended out. I know you went over with the matter brown to it, but people don't know that. To them, it's just going to look like, oh, she got two eyeshadows and blended them together. Um, and this is not an eyebrow highlight yet. This is just the concealer, the primer that I used on my eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show you basics of how I did my black on my other side. Like I said, you're just going to have to do to the point and then bring it down like if you're doing some eyeliner like a crazy cat eye or something. And you're just going to get it like really dark and you are doing sweeping motions. You're not patting because if you pat, you're going to get like a chunk of black and then it's going to be harder for you to um, blend out. 
in that case. So I'm just going to keep on blending this out. I'll, I don't know if I want to show you because this is already a really long video. Um, but you're basically bringing it down kind of like halfway towards your eye. And then just make sure, making sure you're repeating that L shape um, with the black. You could, you know, it's repetitive. And so now I'm going to go back to the original brown that I got. And I'm just going to tap it in right here in the corner. Make sure that you still have that shimmering. It's not just matte black right there. Um, so I'm going to come back again with some black and get it right on the edge of my smoky eye, bring it down, make sure I always bring it down and I'm gonna come back with some gold so it's not that simple like you know you, you're not just gonna add the black and it's gonna be fine you have to retouch all the colors once again so you can get that effect that you're going for um, this is how I would leave it, I would actually um, amp up the black a little more just down here make sure that it's really dark and pointed. You don't want it to be one rounded. One pointed and one rounded. Do you see what, how I have a rounded shape right here? What I can do is just pull this up and make sure it's pointed uh, because you have that primer underneath. I don't know if you all do your face first and then your eyes. I always do my eyes first and then my face. Um, so I, I can do those type of tricks into my eyes. So that is done. I basically just have to come back here with my highlight color and highlight my other eye because you can see that the other one's not highlighted. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to come back with some eyeliner and eyeshadow and eyelashes and you can see the full eye effect everybody. So this is basically done. Alright, I know this has been a long video and my hair's a mess, but I'm going to show you what the difference that eyeliner can do to your eye look. I basically have the same eyeshadow look, but I have two different eyeliners. This one's more of a dramatic type of eyeliner, and it looks just like that. And this one's more of like a basic type of eyeliner. They're both cat eyes. This one's just like a regular simple one and this one's like a very big and bold dramatic. Um, this, these can look different in your face. It depends according to your face obviously. But it definitely adds up a lot to your eyeshadow. It definitely looks like you tried harder. Um, I don't know. I like more of this for like a regular day. But if you're going out to the club I feel like a very dramatic eyeliner does the whole stamping of your eyeshadow in your makeup in your face so I hope you guys like this and once again I use the nude palette by Maybelline New York um, this is just a drugstore product you can find it anywhere of any drugstore so hope you guys like it bye hugs and kisses see you next time bye